our camper is gone. decided to sell the camper we did not enjoy it as much as we uh, thought we would at the campground and since we don't have anything to tow it with we decided to buy a property next door and build a cottage so while driving we saw that our cottage has been delivered at least to a point where it will be later on moved to our property so let me show you on what it looks like. It's a modular home and let me show you what that, where it is at and what it looks like. It is 50 somewhat feet long. This is the back and the side. That's the bedroom window. That's the front. Sorry about the wind noise in the cars, but that's what it is. It's about 16 feet wide. And has vinyl sidings, believe it or not. It does look like real shingles. Shingles? That's the kitchen and the living room. Here's a little bit from the other side. So now that we have this, this is going to be placed in about a month or two onto the property, which I can show you later on. But um, we'll be renting it out in the summer and use it as uh, rental income. And during the winter, because it's going to be winterized, we're going to be using it as our getaway from Summerside. And being out at Twin Shores, it's beautiful out there, even in the winter. This is going to be the living room window and it's going to face the ocean. It's going to have an incredible view. It's going to be a big deck out on front and it's going to be gorgeous. Right now it looks like a mobile home, but it is not. It's a modular home and it's going to look fantastic, incredible actually, with the ocean view, the decks, shrubs, a hot tub, one day going to be great. It's going to go on a half an acre lot, so quite a big lot, and facing the ocean with a beautiful patio. So it's going to be stunning once it's done. May not look like much now, but wait till we're finished with it. I will have a wood stove and it's going to be beautiful inside, so I'm excited. We're also ready for our Tesla. We got a charging 
port or electricity for the charger to be plugged in. So, all ready for that. And I believe somewhere for the hot tub, we're done too. It's gonna be an outdoor shower here. So for people that have seen our blog or our log, uh, this is our campground. This is where we had the RV. And uh, it's a little bit of a longer story to it, but we no longer have the RV as we bought the property next door to put on the cottage. So let me show you that. But straight ahead is where it used to be and picking up some blocks that still belong to us. They left it there when they moved the RV, so, but we're behind that tree line right there is where our new property are, is. Can't complain about that at all. Still the same in a way. And look at the sun getting a tan, a pre-tan before we go and enjoy the hot sun. Yeah, here they are. These are four blocks that were left behind last summer or fall for leveling the RV. Okay, here's the property where the cottage is gonna be put in the middle of May. And the fencing area that you can see are three properties. There is one in the middle, doesn't belong to us. And then there is the one on the right that goes all the way down to the other end. It's a little bit over half an acre, but that's where the cottage will go. Let me show you what a beautiful view. Is it on? The hills are alive. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna put that in. Anyway, so this is where the cottage is gonna go. It's 16 wide, as you saw, and 56 long. And that's pretty much the area. So we picked it out because they have to come and prepare the ground. They have to put, dig it out, have to put gravel down. It goes on blocks, but apparently which i didn't know is that it is about six feet in height the balcony similar to what this cottage has so that's how high it will have to go quite a surprise we're quite happy about that and also what you can see is this is the view you sort of get so you're in the house and right now you actually get the the sunset and the warmth of the sun, even though today was a cooler day, it's quite warm. Over here is the balcony, or yeah, the balcony where it's going to be. Sort of a rough outline, it's not gonna be like this, it's probably gonna be a little bit bigger. There's stairs going into the house, there's views to the left, and you basically see all of this. If you look back at the cottage, you will see that window front, that's really about this corner here. So it's gonna be stunning and amazing. And you got that entire field, which Lily loves to run around in. But yeah, this is pretty much it. It's gorgeous. Nobody here today. There is nobody here during the winter. Nobody lives here. Now our cottage though will be winterized and we will be here in the winter. Okay. I don't know if you can tell at the fence down below, there is a peg sort of in between two parts. That's how far the property actually goes. And that over there is our property. Of an acre. So it's quite a, a big a piece of land. No trees, no bushes. We'll probably uh, end up putting a few bushes and shrubs and all that on there. Trees are not prone to grow here quite well or as well but probably some uh, fir trees. They're doing a much, much better. But another surprise. So this cottage is, was actually the cottage of our friend Kelly and she sold it 
And what happened then is there was another property here on the right. Guess what? We decided to buy that one too. So we actually bought this property, same size, and we're sort of circling the house right now. Not circling, but we're on the left and we're on the right. And maybe in a year or two, we're gonna build a cottage here and rent it out as well. So same size property, 0.70 of maker. Uh, there's a gate down below, that's our entrance. And where the entrance is down there, you see where the peg is. The property line right now is probably something al along the lines of this. And behind me is the other piece of land that we own, which we have to take care of because it needs to be, the lawn needs to be mown. Things have to be clean in this, uh, in Darnley Estate. That's what it is called. And that's where we're gonna be renting out our cottage. And one day cottages. Anyway, isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. And the view is a little different as you can see. It, it doesn't have the openness because you have that one house, uh, that cottage on the right. But it's still beautiful. It's still a beautiful uh, sunset you're gonna get. And we will position it so that we can get as much view and exposure as we can. So there we go. There you have it. That's what it is. So if you did like the video, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. Make sure you get it out there. It helps me grow my channel. We are now at a thousand subscribers. Yeah. So if you get to see any ads please do because this is now how i gonna be paid pennies <laughs> but a little bit here and there so please like subscribe hit that notification bell and share it with your friends and family thank you so much this is how we live in canada canadian life on prince edward island